Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like, and today it is finally here. We have the Insta360 X4 8K360 action camera in the house. We're gonna unbox it, see all what comes inside of it, and then we're gonna go out and give it a quick test and give you some samples. So let's jump into it, and here we go. All right, let's take a quick look around this box here. We can see it's an Insta360 X4 8K 360 action camera. And we can see on this side, it says it is gonna shoot an 8K at 30 frames a second, 5.7K at 60 frames a second in 360 video. It can also, it says you can shoot first and frame later. You have the invisible selfie stick, so you can have it on or off. And it has HDR video, you can both turn it on and off. And then you have flow state image stabilization, which also can be turned on or off. So it looks like we're inside the box, we're gonna get a few things, but we are going to check that out in just a moment when we open it up. And then on this side, we can see we're gonna get 72 megapixel stills for uh, 360 photos. We're gonna get 4K60 single lens mode so that you can use this thing just like a traditional action camera in single lens mode. Then we're gonna have removable lens guards. This is something that we have been asking for for a long time and they have finally delivered on. We're also gonna get 10 meters of waterproofness or it's gonna be waterproof to 10 meters or 33 feet. And it's gonna have AI powered editing. All right. Let's go ahead and get this camera out of the box so that we can take a look and see what all is going to come inside because I am very, very curious. All right, well here is everything that comes in the packaging with it. First things first, we are going to get the Insta360 X4 camera. And I can tell you right now, this thing in comparison to the X3, it definitely feels like a little bit of a chunker. It is, uh, it's, it's thicker. It, I don't know if it's any taller. I think it might be a little bit taller, but it definitely feels a little bit thicker and a little bit heavier. So now we are also going to get our battery, which is already pre-installed in the camera. So you'll have that right there. If you're looking for it, just know that it's already in the camera for you. So um, now we are also going to get a case here. So this is going to be a storage case where you can put the camera in. There are some spaces inside. It looks like these spaces are gonna be for memory cards. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this area is for right here. Maybe a charging cable of some sort. So um, yeah, there's that. And we can see, we can actually go ahead and slip this right on in and zip it right on up. There's plenty of room in there for the camera. So there's that. We also are going to get a very nice, it feels like a very thick USB-C to USB-C cable, which is very nice there. That's gonna be for charging and data transfer. We are going to get a thermal uh, grip cover. This is going to be if you plan on shooting a lot of 8K, you can go ahead and put this on the camera and this will help dissipate some of the heat if you're shooting in 8K. So there's that. We also have a a uh, lens cleaning cloth because anytime you're shooting with 360 uh, cameras, you wanna make sure that you don't have any dust or debris or liquid or anything on your lenses. So before you start shooting, make sure you have a lens cleaning cloth of like to, uh, to clean your lenses off with. Now we also have these uh, standard lens guards. So there is a, vi a video tutorial if you need to know how to install them. This camera does have a bayonet mount now on the front of it so that you can actually install the lens guards, use it when you need to, and then take them off when you don't. And there is a setting inside of the app, so that are inside of the camera that you want to use so that you can tell the camera you are using the lens guards. So. Um, we're also gonna get a warranty card, safety guidelines, waterproofing what you need to know, quick start guide, um, some stickers here, and we can't forget, we have to have our silica gel. We always have silica gel. All right, let's go ahead and actually charge up the camera so that I have a, a nice battery fill of juice ready to go, and then we're gonna take it out, test it, and see how this thing performs. All right, everyone. Well, this is the first test of the Insta360 X4, and I'm just standing outside my balcony here, and I do have the three meter selfie stick. Now it's fully collapsed right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and start moving it out here and see what it looks like. And let's get this first section all the way out. 
Oh, I think that's the second section too. So, all right. Well, I think that is the first section right there. And as you can see, it is seriously, seriously extended already. So let's keep on going here. This next one, I believe is at 240 centimeters, which is really pretty far out there. <laughs> and look at that. Now, this one, you might want to hold it with two hands because it really gets out there. So, all right, let's keep it going and let's get it all the way out there. And this is going to be fully, fully extended. <laughs> Holy guacamole, this is insane. All right, there we go. We have it fully extended. And this is the thing that people use a lot when they say they want their camera to look like a drone because you can really really get it out far away and do some crazy sweeping motions with this thing and really make it look like it's shooting with a drone. So, all right. Now, I don't know how well you guys can hear me because as you uh, extend the camera out further away, so are the microphones. And so let me go ahead and bring this back on in here and we'll get it all the way in just to about where I would normally have my selfie stick. And this is about where I would normally have it if I was actually shooting with my normal invisible selfie stick. So there you go. All right, let's go walk around a little bit and just see how things are. All right, well, I am outside now, as we can see, and I'm just walking here, and I want to do a little bit of a test to see how the audio sounds if I'm using an external microphone. So I have the, uh, the mic adapter hooked up with the, uh, the microphone receiver bracket on there so that I'm able to mount my Rode Wireless Go and have it right in the stitch line. Now, the interesting thing is that this mic adapter did not actually come with an audio cable. However, the old mic adapters used to come with an audio cable that worked with this. So, but I actually prefer to use the the uh, audio cable from the Rode Wireless Go uh, 2 microphone because it is a sort of a flexible, um, it's a flexible cable that's, that actually holds its shape. And so it's very nice, especially when you're using it with this camera because you can actually sort of uh, adjust it and shape it so that it actually stays in the stitch line and, uh, and stays hidden. So, whereas the other cable, even though it was sort of shaped to stay in the, uh, you know, hidden in the stitch line, there were times where it would come loose or it would get sort of wobbly if you were moving and then it would show up. Where this one, it's not gonna do that because it's a really stiff, firm cable. So, yeah. Well, as we can see, the, um, the, image stabilization on this camera is fantastic as one would expect with any Insta360 uh, camera here. So now I did bring outside with me my, uh, my three meter uh, selfie stick here, my invisible three meter invisible selfie stick so that I can actually uh, walk over here and get some cool shots because I'm over by my local pond and I've always kind of wanted to to get sort of like a drone shot over here, but you can't fly drones in my area. So I was like, well, maybe I can throw this camera up on the, uh, up on the three meter selfie stick and see how it looks. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, now there are some geese over here and uh, I'm gonna see if I can extend this thing way out there far enough that I can actually get a shot of them before they go and uh, scurry away. Let's see if I get this thing fully extended out here. There we go. Let's get it all the way out. And now let's see if we can get a shot. Now that's not gonna be close enough, but as you can see, they are over there. But this is a cool thing. If you have, if you wanna give yourself sort of like a drone shot, you could definitely walk like this and get yourself a cool drone shot like this. Now, another cool thing about this is with the, um, with the mic adapter, you get your audio sounding nice and clean regardless of whether or not your camera's high up in the sky or if it's down close next to you. So there you go. Now I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go ahead and walk this thing over a little bit and see if I can walk a little bit close to the, uh, to the geese over there. Now, one thing that I used to love about this area before they fenced it all off is that this drain areas, they have this wide concrete 
sort of walk. And you used to be able to actually walk right along there and you can go sit down there. And I used to go sit there and take photos and whatnot, but you can't really do that anymore. But with this selfie stick, you still can sort of get in that area and you can sort of see what's around in here. Now, God forbid something happens with my camera over there, because then I have to climb down there and go get it. But yeah, all right. This is how you can sort of use the three meter selfie stick to give yourself sort of a drone type shot. Now, there's a skill to this that I haven't fully worked out yet, so I'll have to play with it more, but I think this is gonna work out nicely. Well, I wanted to now see what this, uh, what the footage would look like if I was uh, just using the three meter selfie stick, just like as a regular invisible selfie stick, and I'm just walking along here. So um, this is uh, just how I would normally vlog here with the camera extended out a little bit and the, um, and the invisible selfie stick that I'm using. But this is the three meter invisible selfie stick. Now, the reason why I'm wondering if it's going to um, actually stay invisible is because the handle is considerably thicker than it is if you're using say the uh, one of the regular invisible selfie sticks now this is one of their shorter ones and i love this short one because i can actually fit this in my pocket entirely like i can just go ahead and stick this thing in my pocket completely and it's gone so if i'm not using it it's there hidden away it's small enough that um that i don't need to uh to worry about carrying a separate bag or anything. I can slip it in my back pocket, my front pocket. I can leave my camera on the selfie stick if I want to stick it in my pocket and it doesn't protrude out too much. So yeah, I have to say it's pretty nice. But if I'm using the three meter selfie stick, I'm really curious of how this is going to look because, well, I might actually decide I want to do this. Oh, wow, look at this. There are some, there's some little, uh, the little goose, geeseling, good ducking, what do you call them? A little small ones. Let's see if we can extend this thing out here and get close to them. Look at that. There they are. You see the little guys right there? <laughs> and they, uh, they are heading towards the water. All right. <laughs> wow. Very, very cool. All right, well, let's, let's get this thing back in here. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's one of the benefits of having such a long selfie stick is that you can do stuff like that, which is to basically extend it all the way out and get very, very close to, uh, you know, to something that you may not be able to get close to otherwise. So, all right, let me take a few pictures here so we can see what the, uh, what the photos look like. And then let's wrap this thing up. All right, well, before we get out of here, let me just tell you that there are a couple of things already that I'm not a big fan of with this camera, just right out the bat. And uh, one of them is that the audio situation with the Insta360 cameras has not really improved much throughout the years. So they're still requiring to use a mic adapter in order to get good, clean external audio into the camera. and. The only other way you can do that is using a Bluetooth microphone. So if you happen to have, say, a DJI wireless mic uh, 2, then you can use that. But it's kind of ridiculous that Insta360 is making us go to a competitor's brand in order to get a audio solution for their cameras. Now, the other thing that I don't like about this camera, it's not really the camera, but the accessory, and that is the little case that comes in the box. I'm not a big fan of the case. I much prefer the sleeve that came with the X3 and the X2. I prefer those sleeves because it makes it very easy to leave the selfie stick attached 
and then just go ahead and uh, slide it on out when you're ready to start using the camera. Now you can have the little lens cap on there and that does work, but that means the rest of your camera is exposed if you wanna throw it in your pocket or in a bag or something. So it's much nicer to be able to have the, um, it's much nicer to have that sleeve that allows you to slip, uh, quickly slip the camera in and out of there. Now, with that said, the sleeve for the X3 actually fits with the X4. So it's a little bit tighter than it is with the X3, but it still fits. And so you can definitely use the sleeve of the X3 with the X4. Now, the other thing that I really love about this camera is that that lens cap, it's, a, it's inexpensive, it's like $6.99, but they've actually designed it. So if you're using the mic adapter like I am now, you can put that lens cap on and you don't have to remove the mic adapter at all. It has a little cutout so it fits perfectly, which is fantastic. That way, if I'm recording, I'm out vlogging like I am now, and I know I'm gonna stop for a while, maybe I'm gonna stop and take a break or get a, get a drink of water or something to eat, and I wanna protect the lenses, I can throw that lens cap on, and I don't have to worry about taking off my whole audio kit. So that, to me, is really, really fantastic. So, all right, that's about it. Let's go ahead inside, wrap this thing up, because it's already becoming a longer video than I anticipated. All right, everyone, well, there you have it. That is my first look at the Insta360 X4. And I have to say, so far, I am really, really enjoying this camera. I have to say, I truly, truly love the 8K. Now, I've heard so many people over the years say, 8K, who needs it? You don't need that. I say, when it comes to 360 cameras, you definitely need it because that 8K resolution is going to allow you to reframe and output a true 4K image, and you're not gonna have to worry about upscaling or losing image quality. You'll be able to have a true 4K image even when your footage is reframed. So there you go. All right, I'm gonna leave links to this camera down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page, my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere, and I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.